Yo, baby, you already know the show that changed the life of podcast, internet, Facebook, Instagram, SoundCloud, toda la vaina. Aquí con ustedes, you cover the topic, el duro de lo duro, on A Los Curvo Negro, your host, Negro. Y el gordo limo de la radio. Y que son David, que lo que mi gente. What's good? It's your boy from Spin in the House. What's poppin'? Chillin' in the crib, nigga. So, the next topic is this young lady um, mm. DM'd us and said that her mom doesn't want her doesn't want her to be with this kid because he says he's a delinquent. You know, he's not a good kid. He doesn't have a a prosperous future, a nice bright future. He doesn't have that. But she says that she really knows how he is. But he just offered her to move out with him. So she's contemplating: What should I do? Should I listen to my mom? Or should I move out with him? The floor is yours. I got this. I got this. Look, I'm going to keep it a stack. A stack. A stack. A hundred. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't get me in trouble, but I'm going to keep it a stack. Okay? (laughs) Before I moved out with my girlfriend, her mom swore to God that I wasn't going to end up doing anything in my Okay? Why? I'm going to say why. I'm going to say why. I'm going to say why. Because I was still in school and my job wasn't good enough. Right? Right? I agree to that. And we were we were a little bit shaky because of that. She would always like be sad and stuff because her mom was saying that shit. And I was like, hey, you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? But just remember, you know who I am. That's Your facts. mom doesn't. She didn't know me. She didn't know me, which is cool. She was looking out for her daughter, which is fine. But now they know who I am, and the thing is completely flipped. Like well, it's literally. You, you have no idea. Completely flipped. Like you guys didn't know that, right? You guys didn't know that no. a little bit. No, I know. That's why I was, I was walking away for a second. I don't even notice. <laughs> it, was, it was like it's complete. Like they got to know me. I, I got. I went over, chilled there. They got to know me. I talked to her dad. I talked to her mom. Now I'm like. I go over to Damian, do this, do that, help me here, do that. But it, nah. it's not, it's not. <laughs> maybe, it's maybe, 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 nah. But like, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying like, make your own decisions. The moment you are grown and you know what you want, take that risk, take it, fuck it. If you fuck up, well, guess what? You fucked up. Get up and do another risk. The fuck? Fuck up one more time. Maybe win this time. <laughs> Not everything, not everything is life is a W. You, you take hella L's. You take more L's than dubs. If you're taking too many dubs, you're not doing something right. Hold up. <laughs> Did y'all just hear that motherfucking line? If you're taking too many dubs, you're, some, doing. you're doing something wrong. I like something that one. Wrong. I like that hey, one. We're gonna, we're gonna um, trademark. Hey, it's not a trademark. <laughs> so, man, a plan, so cool, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna say trademark. I'm pretty sure people said it before, but I'm just saying. So, um, my advice is a little different, to be honest with you. Um, if you really feel like you know him more than your mom, go for it. The only reason why I'm telling this because I know from experience. Um, I didn't listen to my mother a couple times. She told me, "Listen, you haven't lived your life. You're doing you, you're doing shit totally wrong." Uh, I ended up with a kid. Two. Two. Double time. Let me finish Two my times. story. Oh, my fault. My Two fault. Times. Thank you. Two times. And Two then, times. Um, yeah, so as you guys heard, I do have two kids now. And my mom always told me, listen, that's not the life you're looking for. Just walk away. Let it go. Let it go. I never paid attention. And it's it's totally a little different now. Now they, you know, they associate better with her. It's not the person who I'm currently with. But, you know, at least... It, the, the bond is a little bit there when it comes to my kids. So my kids are a little more close to my my parents. So I have a question. Do you think that if you would have listened to your mom, you probably would have had a better lifestyle? I wouldn't say better. Probably I'll be somewhere else where I than from where I am right now. So maybe it could have been a little different. Multiple baby mothers. What's what's <laughs> <laughs> but what's but what's what's a little different? What do you mean by different? I could have probably chased um, one of my dreams a little more. Which one was that? Of traveling the world. You could do that. I, yes, I can do it now. 
but it before did. when I was doing what I was doing, it, the opportunity yeah, was did for you, itself. That's what that's what I was saying before. Sorry, Jason. I know you. you need no, no, go ahead. That's what I was saying before. <laughs> you took you took a, a leap because you thought that was right. It wasn't whatever you was expecting it to be. But guess what? You bounce back. You have a beautiful yeah. family. You got two girls, which you which love is great. very much. And now you can do whatever the fuck you want. Not whatever the fuck you want. Actually, but I can do whatever the fuck I want. And if I want to take not, the kids not, with me. Not, not really, because Ooh, now you got yeah. now you got to think about the example you're putting up for them, which is which is the only difference yeah. of being a non-parent to a parent. That's it. They ain't no wrong with traveling the world, though. Just saying. I know, but I'm saying <laughs> when I say you could do whatever the fuck you want, you really can't do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, you could, but you know what I mean. Um, I kind of been on that end where they swore that I was no good. No reason though. That's before she knew. Long exactly. Hair. I, exactly. Before she knew. Their reason was his long hair. Yeah. And <laughs> I was literally. I'm that social. I don't fuck with people like that. So everything I keep to myself. So she swore that I was a player. That I was. That I wasn't good. It, uh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, so I don't know. Like you just gotta go for it. If you just no, sure. right, just go for no, sure. it. You live you learn. Si el tipo es delincuente, you like your delincuente. You wanna be in the delincuente life. Okay. Vaya con Dios, mi hija. El consejo del día. Con, consejo consaje, del día. El consejo del día. El consejo del día. <laughs> si él es un delincuente y te vas con él, just try not to get caught. But just know that <laughs> if, if she is right, she's not going to let you live that down. I don't know. You see, I'm... Some parents are not going to let you live that down. Some parents will be like, yo, you fucked Most up. Parents. You fucked up, but you learned from it. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... <laughs> it's a, it's, it has to do a lot with taking the opportunities and making your own choices because you know what they say like anybody somebody could be speaking wisdom to you and you will never understand that wisdom until you experience it that's true it's fact so at the end of the day like they need to take make their own choices and l- be able to live with their choices because if you take the choice of staying home and listening to your mom you might lose on the love of your life just because you listen to your mom listen. or you could go take a leap with this guy and then your mom be absolutely right so, you know, it's about you making that choice. You either make the choice of listening to your mom and staying home, which, you know, under the books is going to be the correct thing to do. But reality is, so. but reality is, like, is the you skipping out on the love of your life the correct thing to do, too? I'm going to keep it a stack one more time. <clears throat> Parents have more knowledge of life than we do. That's because they experience but, more. Yeah, but... Well, that's exactly, they experience, experience more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, more knowledge, more experience. But you got to remember that their life back then and our lives now, is has something is different. Something in, in between the lines, something is different. Might not something, It might not be something big, but maybe if they were when they were younger, they took a leap of faith and came over here. Like, what the fuck are we going to do when we get to the U.S.? Like, what what is going to happen? We don't know. But we take we going over there because maybe we want our kids to have a better life than we did. So that was that that leap of faith that they took for their future kids. Maybe they without knowing. Even, maybe they didn't even have us and they just came. And then I want my kids to be born here because this is a land of opportunity or whatever, which is bullshit. But let's <laughs> let's that's another topic for another day. <laughs> so, quick, quick question, quick question, quick question. Um, this pertains to me. Um, am I wrong for not listening to anything my dad says? Because honestly, I've been told that I'm the exact replica of everything he did. Uh, I don't know because I don't know the conversations you guys have. Like no, depending no, on the conversations you guys have. Everything, everything I do. So for example, every time you know how we go out and I'm always out in the streets or whatever, my dad did the same exact thing. So he tells me constantly, "Oh, don't do that. Leave the nightlife. Do do the th- things this way." This and is I my this, this, this is my thing. Like you you can't live being scared of what you're gonna. But what the outcome is gonna be of your life, right. and that's that's just okay. me. Like you know what I mean? Like I live it because this is what I want to live. This is how I want to enjoy my life. Because it's real easy to tell somebody, "Don't do this. You should be doing this." But reality is, that person is not gonna be living my day to day life. It's like you're not gonna have you're, you're not gonna be working the hours that you want. You're telling me to go work. You're not gonna be lonely the in like in the field that you want me to be in. You know what I'm trying to say? Like we we everybody everybody has a you know what it is? I think like people are very easy to throw the negativity of people who are trying to do something different or do something that they say, oh, I did that. I did that. You shouldn't be doing that because I did that. 
but well, you did it. So if you did it, why can't I do it? Why can't I live it? Why can't I learn from your experience? Because maybe the same experience, we, we, we might be in the same situation and have different results. We might have different outcomes. We might have different point of views in the situation, even though it's the same situation.